up? Welcome, Polygoners, to the Sunday Show Match. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with us today. We have an exciting game lined up for you. Two amazing players, Penguin versus Kozan, is coming your way. A little bit about the players. Stefan Penguin Mott is a Swiss Zerg for Sty Storm Gaming. Uh, he spent. Uh, he started with M Insan or I'm sorry, my insanity. Having trouble today as their official caster and was even the team captain at one point, and he has been the player manager for Sidestorm Gaming since 2016. Uh, his most notable accomplishment, of course, being a win against Night End in the Acer Team Story Cup. And then Kozan, also a phenomenal player, up-and-coming Terran, uh, actually beat Penguin 2-1 in a three-game series a couple of years back, uh, but has yet to really break out as a pro top-tier player. Um, but, of course, does play for Rival Gaming, as I mentioned. Today, though, I'd have to give the edge to Penguin, just due to his experience uh, and his, you know, all-around performance. I've seen him play a bunch. He is a phenomenal player. But both these guys going to bring us an amazing game today. Casting this, um, uh, these amazing games, of course, as always, is Shaft and Kid Not. Let's take it over to them. Hey, guys. I am Shaft. You are watching the second ever Sunday Skirmish. For those of you who aren't familiar with the event, you can check back here. Sometimes 2 p.m., sometimes 3 p.m. We'll, we'll, we'll fudge the times depending on player schedules. But it's always going to be on Sunday. Makes sense, right? The title, Sunday Skirmish. Um, basically, what ends up happening is that this is a King of the Hill style event. So in this particular case, our um, Zerg player won our last event. That was Penguin. Some of you may have seen that. Now we have a challenger coming on saying, hey, I don't think you're that good course you know penguin is but this guy says he thinks he's better so we're gonna give him opportunity come on win ten dollars and uh show his worth we're gonna be getting into the games here momentarily but i want to hand over the floor to my co-caster who is super smart studied these players even like wrote up a huge word document and sent it to us and we're like hey make sure you guys know this of course i'm talking about kid not how are you man good chap good to be with you andy man nice to talk to you um Looking forward to this series today. Both players, they have a tendency to open up differently, sometimes a little bit aggressively. Mm -hmm. uh, so it should be a lot of fun. And this could be really exciting. So uh, let's get right into the game. Yeah, man. Here on the top left-hand side, the map is Neon Violet Square. And he is our purple Zergy McFerguson. He plays for Storm Gaming, and he is the reigning champ. It's Penguin. And in the bottom right-hand corner, we have our green Terran player. It's none other than rival Kozan. So Kozan describes his play as standard to a fault. Meanwhile, Penguin is anything but standard. So this is kind of like our yin and yang series. These guys could not be more off the head. Yeah, it looks like... Uh... He's going to open up Reaper Expand, and mm -hmm. looks like we just have a standard opening from Penguin. So, mm -hmm. uh, looks like they're both going to open up standard. So, we'll see uh, who's who's going to be opening up standard to a fault. Yeah, not just opening up, man. Apparently, his play style is 100% standard. I was doing a little bit of research on, like, Reddit with people uh, commenting on, you know, who they think is going to win and everything like that. Well, apparently, people are saying, a lot of people now... Um, are saying that if Kozan does like pure bio, I don't know how true this is. This is what they're saying. If Kozan does pure bio, that is something Penguin has the hardest time with. So we'll see, we'll see, um, you know, does he elect to do that? Is that something that is in his repertoire? Yeah, we had Penguin that was gonna take a quick third and he was shut down by the Reaper. So he decided he was gonna take the back third base, which is only got the four mineral patches, mm -hmm. um, so it looks like he's able to get a little extra gas. We'll see what happens and mm -hmm. see what he does with the lack of minerals, but that extra gas, that could change his opening. Yeah, one uh, one major divergent thing about this map is the fact that that pocket expansion is so easy to take, but it's not that lucrative to take, especially if you're going for the mineral. If you're going for like a mutilisk build, which who does that anymore? Maybe that back expansion is okay, but... <laughs> It really sets off the economy of the situation. I think that's probably why we're seeing this map come up first. Players want to go ahead and get that out of the way. Absolutely. And now we see Kozan is taking a third base as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you had mentioned that uh, Penguin um, 
typically uh, did as mute as in the past and maybe not so much more. But with that extra gas, don't be surprised if he does go into the uh, the muta style. Yeah, that's uh, that's definitely one possibility. Now, we do have Hellions on the field for Kozan. Those, uh, you know, very standard timing. But the fact is, he's keeping these on the ramp. Any thoughts on why that might be? Well, he doesn't want to show all of them at once. Um, he has got a Marine that's kind of patrolling his main base, mm -hmm. trying to keep an Overlord out of there. So he may just be holding them back and see, see if he opens up perhaps Hellion Banshee. Or yeah. even goes into an army and possibly Hellbats. Mm-hmm. Well, stem pack about halfway done. Goes in, uh, maybe he's just playing. Oh, here we go. Hellions are moving out onto the field, at least to out in front of this natural and looks like it straight out onto the uh the little dancing grid here what 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 would you call the thing uh, pardon me what would you call all these little squares on here like we i, I feel like we should have a reference to that pachinko okay pachinko. yeah yeah, yeah pachinko, pachinko like that little uh that little japanese game. yeah it still makes me sad that uh so many of like my favorite video game companies have switched over to just making pachinko. There goes that spire, just as I predicted with that extra gas, he's going yeah. to open up his mutas. He loves his mutas. Yeah, man, mutalisks definitely not in the meta right now, but they've been a staple of Zerg vs. Terran for so long. So it's good to see them making a small return. Queen's moving out into the field, taking out those Hellions. Yeah, we have 18 links for uh, Penguin mm -hmm. and going into that Spire and then they're just kind of uh, trying to get us around on the Hellions. Yeah, and we'll see if he can manage that. These The little Pachinko slots can make that pretty difficult, but can also assist in certain ways. There we go, Pachinko slot holding that Hellion in place and the links really, really good control here by Penguin where he's splitting up these links. So like the Pachinko shot lot can only hurt like a few links at a time and uh, ultimately shutting down that Hellion Harass. I'm not sure whether trading that army was really that great for Kozin, because he just gave up all his map control, kid. Yeah, he did give up all his army, and Penguin has 11 mutas on the way, so we're going to have to see if uh, Kozan's going to be prepared for those. Hellion's super useful against mutalisks, as I'm sure you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, all right, so the mutalisks are going to be on the field. Kozan has taken a quick pace. Penguin, of course, on his fourth. We've got stem pack done. One one upgrades on the way. Combat shields on the way. Combat shields may have a chance of completing. One one will not before these mutalisks uh, complete. But we've got a drop loading up as well. And this is uh pretty much the biggest portion of Kozan's armies. There's nothing at home now to defend this. Ooh, and the mutalisks are in that main base now. All right. <laughs> Uh, no problem, man. All right, so the uh, Marines getting unloaded. The Mulists are trying to swing in here and doing just as much damage as they possibly can. Right now, only uh, about 14 workers killed. I don't know if that really justifies the Mutalist switch, but he's getting the plus one flying attack. He's going for mu more Mutalist. Kid not. Is this going to be like one of those 50 Mutalist games? Uh, I think he's going to continue to make mutilus he's killed off 14 workers and mm -hmm. now um Kozan's going to have to put down turrets which is going to take more of his minerals so right with the fourth base coming out for penguin i think that uh yeah i think the mutas he should continue making those yeah we will uh we will definitely see bailing speed on the way we got one one upgrades for penguin as well unfortunately with going for a mutilus build penguin upgrades are Delayed. Typically, you get a uh, two-two as Zerg before the Terran gets two-two, and then the Terran gets three-three before you do. All of that's flipped on its head, right? That is correct, but um, that is kind of normal for Penguin when he goes into Mutalis. He delays mm -hmm. his upgrades, so um, as long as he can uh, keep uh, map control with his Mutalis, I think he's mm -hmm. going to be okay. Yeah, and he is doing just that. He's bleeding a couple of Mutalis just to the uh, little edges uh edge attacks by these marines but still no direct engagement no he, no he's not gonna want to um directly engage him but he is putting down a fairly early infestation pit and getting mm -hmm. two two uh, melee yep two two melee as well as plus two flying attacks so we're seeing even more dedication to this mutalist style 
Yeah, he's up to 19 Mutalis right now, so he's going to be um, he's going to be running a Kozan around with his Mutas. Mm -hmm. And with those upgrades with the Mutas, he's going to be able to take some of those Marines head on. Yeah, he's actually going ahead target firing this extractor, or I guess it's a refinery since it's 10. But anyways, um, he, he wants to shut down any later stages attack. That means Liberators, Thors, anything that's going to require a lot of gas and that can deal with Mutalists. Probably a good thing to go ahead and kill off that production. Yeah, and he, uh, currently Penguin, he is morphing an awful lot of banelings, uh, 24 banelings, and mm -hmm. currently also have the 19 mutalists. Yeah, Ling Bane Muta, man, it is making a return. He's also getting Burrow, and with the 2-2 two -two upgrades, he may be uh, trying to hit a timing attack. Yes, indeed. Uh, okay, so with the timing attack, he is actually going to be on the creep and killing off some of these tumors. Kozan are gonna try and open up some of the space here with the rocks. Um, it's gonna delay his attack. He's also on creep, so it's making him more and more vulnerable. As you can see, the mutalists are parked here on the bottom the left hand, and, uh, or I'm sorry, the Ling Baneling is parked on the bottom left hand. The mutalists are gonna be swinging over on the right, and uh, they're just gonna try and get a full surround on this army, the perfect position. Yeah, he's got uh, Banelings and Zerglings mm -hmm. uh, north and south of Kozan's armies with the tanks on the bottom he may be able to swing those lings in along with the mutas mm -hmm. dude there's not enough mutas or, uh, not enough uh, marines here to deal with mutas but the ling bane is going to be scrolling through the pachinga machine and actually gets kind of slammed apart in that pachinga machine but it's going to come down to the use of the mutalist the mutalist is going to be pulling his marine away from the tank um he actually lost uh about five mutalists there but as long as he can continue deleting these marines and buying himself some time for these lings to complete he does have ultralists and adrenal glands on the left. Yes, he's, he's also making uh, more lings, putting down a fifth base. But uh, we do have Kozan moving in toward the fourth. Mm -hmm. He does not have any banglings with us. Yeah, really good splits uh, for Kozan, but no banglings on the field means that that was not even going to be necessary. And that is Penguin going ahead and tapping out. Just uh, too many Marines there to deal with the deal with anything that penguin could throw at him yeah i think part of that was also um a little bit later on his upgrades and mm -hmm. had he been able to get some ultralists out i think he'd been okay and in that last uh, engagement um penguin didn't have any banelings so uh, he kind of ripped apart his zerglings and then all he had left was uh, the mutilist and so right looks like our next map is gonna be boardwalk um, before we start talking about Boardwalk, because it's a very, very strange map, which kind of plays to uh, Penguin's playstyle. P Penguin's playstyle typically utilizes roaches at some point. Do you think roaches in that game could have made any difference at, like, buying them time for those Ultralisks? No, I don't, I don't think uh, the roaches against all of that bio, I don't think mm -hmm. that was... I, I think Penguin had a good idea. Mm -hmm. um, but again, when he goes... Uh, mutas that fast and the lack of minerals it mm -hmm. does delay his upgrades i think that was one of the biggest problems okay all right well we will uh be getting into our next game here in just a few moments guys in the meantime we are going to hand it over to andy he's going to uh tell you guys about our sponsors and we'll do a quick word from our sponsors and hop into this next game guys see you on the flip side All right, that was an incredible game number one. Penguin coming in with the big surround, able to take the win. We've got a lot more games coming your way. But, yes, first a word from our sponsors. We're going to play a little ad for you. Thank you guys so much again for tuning in and hanging out with us today. Stay tuned. We've got a lot of fun matches coming up. This is a best of seven, so stay right where you are. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the Internet. There's probably no hope for you.